Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to finish building our home page and quickly build an about page. And once all the preparations are done, we will begin working on the store page. Looking at our home page, I think we can try to adjust our menu. Let's click on the Edit Menu button that can be found here and click Template. All templates are changing dynamically so you could click on them to view how they look. At the top, we can find other template types. For the left-oriented menu and a hidden menu. You can check how they look on your own. Let's return to the centered menu type and pick a template called Border Top 1. I think this template looks nice and suits our demo site. OK, now when the menu is adjusted, let's continue working on our home page. The next section that we are planning to add is going to be a text section, which will contain a title and a small description. Scroll down and click on the Add New Section button. The page type that we are going to pick is Text and Contacts. The template is short info. Firstly, we're going to adjust the header. Click on the pen icon, change content, and replace the sample text. Click on Done. I also don't like this line below it. We can click on the pen icon near it and hit Delete. This header seems to be too big. Let's click on the pen icon and go to Size, Margins and Positions. I'm going to move my window so we can see all options. At the bottom, we can change the font size. We move the slider to decrease it or simply click on the numbers and enter a desired size. Also, we're going to increase the margin bottom a little. I think 0.7 EM works the best. Since this is a demo site, we won't be changing the description text itself. Instead, we're going to move to a new section. Let's click on the Add New Section button and select the Text and Contacts type again. This time, we're going to pick a template, Contact Center. Firstly, let's adjust the header. You already know how to do it, right? Click on Done. Next, we are going to change the contact forms. Click on the pen icon and go to Change Content. We are going to remove the Your Message field. Click on it to select it and then hit Delete. Confirm the changes and it's gone. Now, let's reduce the width of the fields. We can click on the pen icon. Go to Size, Margins and Positions and change the Max Width. That looks much better. I don't think that we need the text and social media links below the form, so we are going to remove them. It's done by clicking on the pen icon, Delete. As the last section of the page, we're going to add a footer. Click on the Add New Section button. Scroll down and select the type Footer. We're going to pick the template Footer 1. Firstly, let's adjust the title. I want to leave the Ivy Jones part only.
Once it's done, let's click on the pen icon again and go to Colors and Fonts and pick a Cardo Serif font. Apart from this, we're going to increase the letter spacing. Click here. Let's use the arrow keys on the keyboard to do that. OK, I think 0.24 works well. Click on Done and close this window. Let's change the year to 2021. Change content. 2021, done. And also don't forget to configure the social media links. To do that, we can click on the pen icon near the links, change content, click on the link to select it, and here we can find the link to our social media. To make the link work correctly, we need to leave the Instagram part untouched and only adjust the URL after the slash. After that, click on Done to save changes. Obviously, you need to repeat this process for the other links. If you don't need a link, you can hit a Delete button near it. Let's close this window and check our homepage. I think it looks beautiful but it feels like these social media icons are a little too big. Let's make them a bit smaller. We can click on the pen icon, icon style and behavior, and adjust the font size. Okay, it is perfect now. Before we begin building a store page, it would be nice to have a page to tell people something about us. For this purpose, we're going to create an About Me page. We can click on Manage Pages, Create New Page, and select the type Text and Contacts. Then look for a template. I'm going to pick Half Screen Template. The page title will be About and we are going to leave the Add to Menu checked, since obviously we want our page to appear on the menu. Click on Create Page. The page is created and features the sample content. Firstly, we are going to replace the image. We can click on Edit Image, Change Content, Change, Add Image or Video. Now let's select a file from our computer and upload it. Once the file is uploaded, it will be selected by the system automatically. So let's go ahead and click on Use the Item button to select this image to our page. After that, let's change the position of our header. I want it displayed on the left side. Click on the pen icon Go to Size, Margins and Positions, and under Position, select Left. Now, we can add something to the description field. Click on the pen icon, change content, and I'm going to type Hi, I'm Ivy. Click on Done. I also think we can change the width a little. Let's click on the pen icon, Size, Margins and Positions. Let's ensure that it has a left position. Now let's change the width. Oops, that's a little too much. OK, this value works for me. We are going to close this window and adjust our social media links. Click on the pen icon, Size Margins and Positions, and again select the left position. 
We can also make our icons smaller by changing the font size. The About section seems to be ready. Now let's click on the Add New Section button and add a contact form to it. We are going to pick the text and contacts type again. And then we're going to pick the contacts center template. Let's change the header to something like get in touch with me. And let's decrease the width of the forms a little. After that, we're going to change the address below. Click on the pen icon, change content, and I'm going to paste the text that I have prepared beforehand. The pasted text became bold, but we can easily change that. Click on the style text and select style selected words. A list of options will appear. We can select the entire text and click on this eraser icon to remove the formatting. Now, I'm going to select the Ivy Jones text and make it bold. Looks good. Let's click on Done and save the changes. I also think that we can make these social media icons a bit smaller. Click on the pen icon, icon style and behavior, and reduce the font size. As the last part, we're going to add a footer. There are two ways to add it. First, we can click on the Add New section, scroll down, select the footer, then select a template and configure it again from scratch. But what's the point of doing this when we already have configured a footer on another page? We can simply duplicate the footer from one page to another. I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. Let's scroll up and open our home page. Now scroll down to the footer. In the top right corner, you can find the Edit Section button. Click on it and then select the option Duplicate. Now, we only need to select the page where we want to duplicate it, as easy as that. It says the action was successful. Let's open our About page and check that. And the footer is there and it's already configured with the styles and links that we have added previously. It seems like we are done with our preparations. In the next tutorial, we will begin building our store page. Please leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned.